Good morning, everyone. It is a brand new day today. I went to sleep last night. I was very tired. Today is a brand new day. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside and check and see if there's one of those yellow slips on the RV. I'm hoping that there's not. And we're gonna move the RV to a new spot. So join me, shall you? Let's go check and see here. It looks like we're good. It was right here. All right. Oh man, what a day. What a day it's gonna be. Well now we're gonna head to a different place. So follow me and I will, I'll show you when we get there. We've arrived. Oh my God. Wow. like poop in here. I think that the ventilation tube of my toilet is clogged, which causes the smell to, rather than go up the tube out the roof like it's supposed to, filter inside of the cabin. It's only really a problem when I'm driving. When I'm not driving, it's usually fine. So you just gotta wait a few minutes for the smell to go away. I gotta get that fixed at some point. Honestly, the fridge is more important to fix, in my opinion. That way I'll be able to actually cook normal foods and stuff. I think that's way more important, but it'll, it'll eventually get done. It'll get done. It's already 8.49, almost 9 a.m. So I did buy some pancake mix, but I don't really have time to make pancakes today, so I'm gonna just go for, you know, I'm gonna go for some honey buns just like yesterday. That'll work for me. Maybe I'll make pancakes for dinner. I don't know. But I love honey buns. I love honey buns. It'll work for me. And maybe I'll make some coffee too, you know? Just doing some dishes. My spoon from last night needs to be dealt with. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a tough one. So I got a solution for that. My solution is a bowl of water that has it soaking. You really should do dishes immediately when you're done with them, guys. That's a lesson for me to you. I've moved my RV to a new spot here. Oh my God, you guys missed it. The craziest thing ever, oh my God. Okay, my last spot, this woman in a black SUV pulled up next to me in one of the semi-truck spots with just an SUV taking up an entire semi-truck spot and was blasting, blasting music. But it was, she was like, she was probably at least 40 or 50 years old and she was blasting like EDM music, but not just any EDM music, like the good kind that I listen to, you know what I mean? Which was bizarre and she was also on the phone screaming and yelling at someone and going crazy and I was like pooping while that was happening I was on the toilet there was poop coming out of my butthole and I was like oh my god I don't know what the, what's happening this woman is crazy I need to get out of here so I just quietly finished up my pooping I got everything together and then I bolted out of there and came to this spot there is no time to turn the camera on or anything oh man I wasn't too terribly concerned but she pulled right up next to me and she also had her phone sticking out the window also it was weird like she was on the driver's side of the window she had her phone sticking out she was holding it like this where the camera was facing in front and behind her uh, her vehicle and I don't know I don't know what she was doing I don't know what she was doing it's very bizarre I felt uncomfortable I needed to get out of that situation I was a little concerned that maybe she was gonna follow me once I left but she didn't I think she was just I think she was just a little bit crazy so I had to get out of that situation and here I am but that's okay I need to move anyway the spot that I was at I had been there for 24 hours almost so this is my new spot for today it all works out in the end. When you do this lifestyle, you gotta be aware. You gotta just be ready to go at any time. If someone crazy comes up to you or anything, just drive away. You gotta, you gotta be ready for stuff like that. You never know what's gonna happen. So, oh man, this is the first time I've had to do that though. Very exciting. But that's enough distractions for the day. It's time to sit down and get some work done. That's how you stop looking homeless. So you don't scare all the people who live in, you know, a normal house. After getting ready in the morning, I had a very long weekend ahead of me. I went to No Self Control's house. No Self Control and I went to the gym. We got a gym membership and we began pumping iron so that I could become strong and have lots of muscles and become an attractive person, relatively speaking. I think it's still so surreal to see me using gym equipment because I don't need exercise at all in my life. That all changes now. And then we went to our friend's house to grill some burgers at night and have a just a grand old time 
time, enjoy some nice burgers, because the night after that, everything changed. We went to a furry nightclub in Southern California called Tail. That's right, it is a furry nightclub. Once or twice a month, this nightclub transforms into a furry nightclub. It is the craziest thing ever. It's a lot of fun. If you are anywhere near the SoCal area, I recommend you go check it out. There were so many people here this time because this was the first time after COVID that they've held an event. It was a lot of fun, and I even had someone recognize me from this channel, not my main channel, but from this channel at Tail. And they said, wow, I really love your, your RV content. It was a fun time, and I definitely want to go to the next one. I'm not drunk. I'm normal. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. And in the morning after that, we decided to relax and go to this really nice shipping container complex that has a coffee shop, a donut shop that has the best donuts I've ever eaten in my life. And everything is made of shipping containers. There's even a chicken place, an arcade, but it's really cool. And that was my incredibly long weekend. After that, I went to No Self Control's house, hung out for a bit, and then that night, I left No Self Control's house and I got to sleep in my car that night. Hello everyone, pardon this interruption in the video, but you should check out my sponsor for today, which is my Patreon. It's free if you pay for it first. Look guys, you don't need me to tell you, all right? But I don't know, I don't know if you know this, but I'm, I'm homeless, I'm homeless, all right? I live at Walmart. I'm at Walmart right now. So if you want to help out on the, the Patreon, that'd be awesome. I'm just kidding, I do it by choice, but hey, every little bit of support helps fund my adventures, fund my journeys and everything, allows me to afford equipment such as this giant ass battery that weighs 130 pounds that I need to power all my equipment and the solar panels that I use to charge this up. It all helps with all that stuff. So if you are interested in supporting the channel, please go check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description down below. Hey, there's a one or two patrons right now. I think there's two, maybe, and they're on your screen right now. So thank you to those people amazing thank you so much really i not none of it would be possible without your help so thank you i do appreciate it if you'd like to join them links in the description down below every little bit helps so much thank you guys i love you all okay you can you go back to the video all right also my social media is in the description down below instagram and twitter please go follow both of those thank you so much goodbye all right guys you can barely see me but i am it's 65 degrees outside i am out here i'm parked right in front of the, the freeway the highway out there look at that view of the highway in front of me that's just crazy those curves red and white lights everywhere incredible there is a gas station down there and there's a bunch of cars around here I just got back from no self controls house we had a, a massive weekend and I'm sorry I didn't film as much as I wanted to but I, got, I took some snippets for you all that has ended in now here we are I'm gonna go to sleep I'm in my car for the night and then we're gonna wake up early in the morning go get the RV and take it to the spot and get some work done until we do it all again next weekend for now I'm super tired I'll talk to you more in the morning it was a crazy weekend went to a furry nightclub oh my god and here we are so back here in the back of my vehicle i got a pillow i don't know if you can even see my pillow and what i do is i, I recline my seat back as far as it will go like this i'm now back as far as i can go and then i push my seat back and then i get my pillow and i place it all right my head like so and here we go i just i just lay down in my driver's seat and go to sleep and my head's below where people can see i i that's all i do to go to sleep i don't cover my windows or anything that works for me or for now so we're gonna stick with it i'm so tired guys yes even in the rv lifestyle sometimes you end up sleeping in your car but i love it i think it's fun and the situation just warranted it tonight so it's the life <laughs> anyway i'm tired i'll see you in the morning good night good morning everyone i am awakening in my car bring the chair back up hell yeah it's like 8 46 a.m as you can see right there on the clock if we zoom in 8 46 a.m today is a day i need to just Get to work, get going. The truck, the blue truck next to me has, has disappeared and reappeared many times. You can see it driving away there. That's very bizarre. I'm gonna brush my teeth, then we're gonna take a little trip to the RV. It's only 69 degrees outside, but it's hot in the car. So I had to turn on turn it on because the sun is coming in here. Greenhouse effect, all that. Cars are crazy, man. I am at a gas station right now. Maybe I can find some food in there. There it is. And this is where I parked last night in this parking lot here. This is what's known as a park and ride. Grab my toothbrush here, my toothpaste. I've decided to walk to the gas station to see if there's some food that I can eat here. So I don't have to make an extra stop, you know what I mean? Thank you. Yeah. 
I got breakfast. I want to eat this as I drive because I want to hit the freaking road. So I'll see you there. Woo! I'm letting my RV run for about 15 minutes because I want to check the oil. I forgot that my house keys are attached to my actual, you know, vehicle keys, so I have to enter in through here because I can't unlock the door. Oh, wow. Sometimes it's tough to climb through all this, you know what I mean? But here we are. I shut off the RV. Now I'm going to check the oil really quick just to make sure that it's not completely empty of oil because that would be bad. I don't know if you can even see this, but out of the four dots there, it was coming up to only the first one, which means it's pretty low on oil. I was hoping maybe I would have some oil somewhere in here, but I don't. So we're gonna have to make a stop at Walmart again. That's okay. Let's go get some oil for this thing, man. Oh yes, beautiful air conditioning. Oh man, that's what I'm looking for, man. I just want to make sure that I get the correct type of oil for my vehicle here. So we got to open it back up again. I believe it's SAE 5W30, if I'm not mistaken. Let's find out. Right there, you can see on the oil cap, it says SAE, what does that say? 5W30, if it would focus. Yep, there we go. SAE 5W30 high mileage over 75,000 miles. That would be my vehicle right here. I'm gonna get two of them. Maybe that'll be enough. If not, then I'll come back in. Hello. Sorry? Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm comfortable with that. It's at, you know, three and a half dots-ish. So we'll just continue to check it off in here, but that should be good for now. 